The interesting thing, and I think about this taking part in the gathering thing, is like part of one of the things I like about it is it's not aspirational as a sutra. Like it's a statement on reality. Like we're taking part in the gathering. You don't join it, it's already happening. And in the same way, mostly what we have to contend with then is all of the ways of that we are doing this. Um, and even when we're doing that, you know, as there's, there's a, a woman in our community who's an artist, and she was saying her art is about invisibility because she feels so invisible all the time. And it's like, in a way, by entering that, she gives that a voice. That's what becomes taking part in the gathering, the experience of what it's like to be invisible. And even if you're feeling terror or sad or left out or overwhelmed, it's like, well, then that's that part of the gathering. You're holding that part for us. That's generous of you. Mm -hmm. We can experience it together. And I think at some level, like you can feel it just sitting here together this morning, there's such a relief in that, that we're actually in a circle, we get to be part of one. I still can't get over that sometimes. And the birds are part of it, and the chainsaws are part of it, and Sister Margaret is part of it, and everything, we and the things we perceive are interwoven and not interwoven. This interweaving carries on and on while each thing stands in its own place. And I think the part that gets that kind of bracing is so much about what we want people to see or don't see. And the, I don't know, the paradoxical part of that is usually they can see it anyway. Mm -hmm. It's just available. But that that trying so hard to control it cuts us off from things and cuts us off from, you know, they say, Another thing you hear a lot in Chan is learning to trust your own moves, which is really learning to trust your way of being part of things. But my way might be, I don't know, noticing things that other people don't notice, or my way might be um, noticing who gets left out or not, or if the candles are lit, or what it, you know, how to play music, or it's like we each that's that interweaving and not interweaving while things stand in their own place. We each somehow have a place. So often what happens is you think, oh no, I'm not good enough for that place, or I'm going to do it wrong, or I should have a different one, or someone else could do it better, or... That gets quite painful. Um, because in a way, it, it pits us against reality. Like reality is sort of constantly making these invitations to us. We kind of go, oh, no, like, no, no, no. Not me. You don't want me. 